Hi, Ida here. I want to warn you that this is going to be a rambly video. I'm going to talk about something uh, that is uh, has a lot of uh, different parts to it, and um, this is something that I I've been wanting to address uh, since I started this channel because it's something that I feel is very important but I've also been a bit hesitant to talk about it because it's the kind of thing that I feel there's a big chance that people are going to watch the beginning not agree with me get upset and then not listen to the rest I get the rest of, of the things I say and just I'll end up getting a lot of hate and uh, having to sort of defend my opinions which is not really what i want um but i i have really few viewers anyway so i'm i'm kind of hoping i'll just get away with it really because it's something that i really want to talk about and i thought now would be a good time um maybe i should tell you what it is i'm going to talk about first of all i want to talk about uh, witchcraft and paganism and consumerism uh, because that is um, something that happens and I I don't want to like shame anyone um, but I think that everything we do has consequences and we just need to to be aware of the consequences and we need to think about that before we go ahead and do things and um, I thought now would be a good time to talk about this because um, I've seen uh, several people doing videos lately about why they have a lot of tarot decks. For instance, uh, I saw Heather Carter uh, has a video on that. I saw uh, Becca, Terror Night Owl, has that. I've seen Brian Comecar talking about it um, not too long ago. And... Uh, this is one one of the things that people tend to sort of buy a lot of and I'm not I'm going to talk more about it I'm not saying that that is necessarily a bad thing so just bear with me uh, another thing where, where you have this risk of getting this consumerist behavior is um, with crystals for instance I'm sorry I have like a fruit fly here it's really really annoying uh, <laughs> anyway so and if we're talking about, we start talking about the, the tarot card. Uh, I totally understand why you would want a lot of tarot cards. A lot of tarot decks, I mean. Uh, I absolutely agree with you uh, in that they're all different. And they have different things to say. And that it's, it can be nice to support like uh, artists by by buying their things and also i can i can really i have three decks and i don't see myself getting more but that's not like i could very much uh, you know be a person that uh, becomes a, a deck collector because i like art and i see a lot of decks out there and pictures of decks and and uh, YouTubers showing off different decks and there is so many really beautiful decks out there with absolutely lovely artwork that I would really love to have um, and um, it is I mean everyone is allowed a guilty pleasure so, so I'm, I'm just not like again, I, I'm not going to shame anyone who collects decks. This is not what it's about. Um, there are, a, you know, there are a lot of valid reasons for collecting decks. You know, they all have the different voice and all that that I'm talking about. I'm not going to get into it because a lot of other people has made a lot of uh, good arguments for that. And and again, it's not the the thing that. Uh, you wouldn't be spiritual enough if you have a lot of decks. I, I don't agree with that. It has nothing to do with spirituality. Um, the reason that I think that you 
need to think before you start collecting anything, before you start collecting anything really, is you need to think about the consequences. Because, I'm sorry, um, because buying things has consequences. Producing these things have consequences. Um, and that is even more so if we talk about crystals, where you have um, mining uh, that is very harmful to the environment to the environment because that's that's basically where I'm coming from here. I am um, very passionate about the environment about um, um, preventing environmental destruction about preventing uh, climate change and so on because I feel that is very important uh, we can't it, because it's we can't live really if we fuck this planet up too much and we have to be mindful of that and, and so we can't just go around and buy things all the time just because we want to and especially things where like like crystals where the extraction methods may you know be very destructive to the environment but also things like tarot decks because you know they have to be be produced and and you have to use energy with that and you have to use materials for that and uh, it's involved and and then of course they have to be shipped to wherever you live and uh, and it's the same for books uh, books is basically the same as a lot of paper it's a lot of weight so it in terms of you know like energy it's rather costly to move around and uh, you know you have to chop down trees or at least use a certain amount of energy to produce them and this is why i'm saying that i i'm not here to shame anyone because i i may not collect tarot decks but I have an awful lot of books and I buy a lot of books so so like everyone is allowed a sort of a guilty pleasure and it's up to everyone like or like each and anyone to, to decide for themselves like what they what they want to do what they think is reasonable to do and what they should avoid I'm just thinking that you need you need to if you're doing a lot of things that are bad for the environment, then you really need to to change. Because I've heard people saying, but if I want something, of course I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to start denying myself things. And I mean, yes, you're going to have to. I mean, if you want uh, humanity to survive, if you're not so self-centered that you feel that all that matters if is that you get to get exactly everything you want and exactly the way you want it then you're going to have to start making a few sacrifices you're going to have to deny yourself some things because the life lifestyle that we have is not sustainable you might be able to go on having a good life but already now a lot of people are suffering for the lifestyle you're having in other countries far away and uh, maybe even in, in people around you because of the way society works but above all the generation that comes after us they're going to be the ones that really pay even if you have a nice and comfortable life and so, so we can't just go on living the way we're doing. We have to change our lifestyles. We have to change uh, the way we uh, the way we relate to the world. We're going to have to change what we buy and how much we buy of it. And um, so, we need to start paying attention to those things. To to uh, how we act as consumers because what another thing is that a lot of people feel very disempowered 
Yeah, there is a huge democracy um, deficit, I guess you could say, wh where we have a society that is very hierarchical and the people at the top don't necessarily like give any shit about what's going on at the bottom. And so a lot of people uh, feel like it doesn't really, really matter what they're doing. It, you know, it doesn't really change anything. And as an individual, that might be correct. What I do in isolation uh, doesn't make any difference. No one cares if I buy this or that. But we're a lot of people on this planet and there is power in mass. There is a lot of power in mass. If enough people start shaving, changing their, their behavior, the few at the top will going to have to adapt because what are they going to do? They're relying on, on the sort of the cooperation of the rest of the people. They can't sit up there and do things if we start giving you know, if we start not giving a fuck about what it is they're doing, if we just start doing other things, they're just going to have to follow. So there is power in mass. And because we live in a society where it really is a lot about money, you know, people with money have power, but also... Um, people with power pay attention to where the money goes. They pay attention to how they can get money and what costs them money. And that is a powerful way in which ordinary people can influence. Again, as an individual, it doesn't matter. But if a lot of people start doing similar things, that is going to show up um, in the finances of the corporations and to the po politics and they're going to have to adapt and that's why even if you feel like it doesn't make a huge difference what i as one individual do in the larger scheme of things it does so so as an individual, that is, I think, the best way of exerting at least some kind of power by choosing where you put your money and where you don't put your money. And this is why I'm saying, like, it can be fine if you collect um, tarot decks. Doing that and through doing that, supporting, uh, you know, artists. That is not no, there's nothing wrong with that if you want to support artists. There are a lot of worse worse things you can spend your money on. It's just that you need you need to think about the consequences. You need to think who gets the money. Because that that's who. Uh, if they get money from doing what they're doing, they'll continue doing it. But if they start making money from doing whatever it is they're doing they're going to have to change and they're going to have to start uh, asking themselves how can we get money what is it people spend their money on and so if we start only spending money on to the extent we're able to at least on things that are environmentally sustainable uh, there are going to be more uh, sustainable alternatives out there because that's how our world works because it's all about money whether we like it or not that's all it's about at the moment. And that I think that is like the way we can really actually exert any power. Voting, I think people should vote. I think that's important. But politicians nowadays, um, they're... Um, Uh, you know, like the, it's still about the money. 
because they're responsible of the budget and there's a in some countries there are very powerful lobbies that they're dependent on um so i think whether we like it or not it's in in what we do as consumers i think that's where the the power lies and i think we should we we should use that we should pay attention to that because we need to start living in a more sustainable way if we want um humanity to survive if we want our children to get decent lives we need to be more sustainable and that means we need to change our consumer patterns so that they become more sustainable and that means that we're going to have to make a few sacrifices we i'm not saying that we should all go back to the stone age i'm not saying that we should go back to some kind of soviet style communism and um, i'm just saying that we need to pay attention to where we put our money and not buy everything just because we want it if we're privileged enough to be able to do that you know have your guilty pleasures that's fine but just think about it think about the consequences of your purchases Um, yeah, I've been rambling uh, for long enough now. I I'm sure there are other things I should have said, um, but um, yeah, this is going to have to be enough. Uh, please subscribe. Please don't hate me. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching.